नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल एंड टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक द टॉपिक इज एनडीए यूनाइटेड वर्सेस द ऑपोजिशन यूनाइटेड नाउ दिस एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूनाइटेड वाज ब्रॉट अबाउट बाय द ऑपोजिशन नाउ एनडीए सीम्स टू बी इन द रेस सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एनडीए यूनाइटेड एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑपोजिशन यूनाइटेड लेट्स गेट राइट इनटू द शो so uh, now we have the opposition united and we have the nda united both of them are trying to swell their numbers both of them are having a number competition who has more numbers now uh, let's talk about opposition united first then we will get into nda united theek hai na now opposition united is uh, they have 26 parties with them 26 parties put together if you see their numbers were uh, visa vis 2019 26 parties put together has scored 141 seats in the lok sabha 2019 out of these 26 parties nine parties have scored zero but listen you know what scored zero that doesn't mean that you know they are they are not relevant they are relevant because they have a vote percentage so that vote percentage if it is tied up with uh, uh, other parties or if it is used that can convert into numbers that can convert into seats so like i said 26 parties 9 scored 0 rest of them scored 141 before i get into nda united a small brief on uh, uh, the opposition united opposition united was was actually a lot of people had initiated opposition united kcr had initiated opposition united mamata banerji had initiated opposition united Arvind Kejriwal almost initiated Opposition United. I would say almost is because he was there and there, not there, you know, type. So he also initiated Opposition United. And today, I think the successful initiator of Opposition United has been Nitish Kumar. And like uh, one can imagine, the first meeting to happen in Bihar, in Patna, okay, under in Nitish Kumar's state. So that's how the Opposition United got formed. Now, uh, BJP also thought it should have an NDA united. Is it all about numbers? Like I said, no, no, it's not just about numbers and it's not just a number war. There is a reason also why NDA wanted uh, an NDA united. And I will come to the reason. First, let me give you some figures. Okay, NDA united, total number 38. And if you remember, NDA, the original NDA united had got 353 in 2019. But the current NDA United has got 333 seats currently. That is what the numbers, total number of this uh, 38 parties put together is. Now in this 38 parties, 26 parties are scored, have scored zero. But then again, like I said, vote share counts. Now there is one thing I want to say. I have not counted numbers for NCP because one doesn't know. I don't even think... Uh, People, a lot of people in NCP also knows where they stand. Do they stand with the opposition or do they stand with Bharatiya Janata Party? So at the moment, I have not covered NDA, but that number will not make some huge difference. So it's okay. Let's, let's, let's go that way. So 333 seats as of now, 20 seats lesser than what the original NDA was. Original NDA, 353. Now, mind you, out of this 333 seats, 303 seats belong to uh, BJP. So it's 20 seats which are kind of, or oh, maybe 30 seats which are kind of new, which 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 the entire gang put together has brought to the table. So this is what it is. But you know what? It's not just a number game. Bharatiya Janata Party. It may it may look confident, but I don't think they are that confident about their numbers in 2000. 24. Now, therefore, I am not saying that, you know, Bharatiya Janata Party will not get their numbers, Bharatiya Janata Party will not come back, all that I am not saying. But what I am trying to say is, chances are that it will not be a cakewalk for Bharatiya Janata Party, that is for sure. The reason why I say it is not going to be a cakewalk as of today, tomorrow, God knows, as of today, it will not be a cakewalk, is because a lot of states, especially, I will talk about five states. I will talk about five states where things are not very good for Bharatiya Janata Party, where things were 
एक्सिलेंट फॉर भारतीय जनता पार्टी इन 2019 फर्स्ट इज महाराष्ट्र यू सी विथ ऑल द स्प्लिट्स एंड स्प्लैट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट विच भारतीय जनता पार्टी क्रिएटेड इन महाराष्ट्र भारतीय जनता पार्टी हैज ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड अ ह्यूज सिंपति वेव एंड आई विल टेल यू व्हाट आई मीन बाय दैट फॉर अ मिनिट लेट अस एज्यूम दैट शरद पवार इज जेन्युनली विद द ऑपोजिशन शरद पवार इज स्टिल विद द एमवीए इन महाराष्ट्र फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ शरद पवार एंड उद्धव ठाकरे आर इन एमवीए what is going to happen is there is going to be a huge sympathy vote for an 83 year old man whose nephew took away his party from him and that to that 83 year old man is sharad pawar a contemporary icon political icon in maharashtra that sympathy wave is going to get him a lot of votes and that sympathy wave therefore will get him a lot of seats this is for sure secondly a person who is already enjoying a sympathy wave is uttav thakre you see his father's shiva sena the shiva sena which is so one with the thakres have been taken away from him so there is a sympathy wave that is already will that will be going for him so you have two such sympathy wave getters power centers together and that's going to have that's going to make a lot of do a lot of damage for bharatiya janata party and its alliance which is in maharashtra it is shiva sena and ncp very funny by the way it but then that's the way it is so theek hai it's going to do a lot of damage chalo for a minute for a minute let's assume sharad pawar shifts to bjp i think that may happen but let us assume it happens if sharad pawar shifts to uh, bjp then what really is going to happen is it's a it's actually very good for congress because all the anti bjp votes which would have normally gone to sharad pawar would go to congress congress will all of a sudden come into a lot of power congress will see a lot of seats all of a sudden not because they have done something spectacular because sharad pawar moved out and that i believe is precisely the reason why sharad pawar is taking time to move out and sharad pawar is kind of strategizing if at all he can move out but this is my thought it may be true it may not be take it with a pinch of salt but that's the story story remains that end of the day maharashtra where once bjp had got 41 seats plus one independent 41 seats mane bjp didn't get 41 seats nda got 41 seats bjp got 23 seats and shivasena got 18 seats collectively they got 41 seats and one and one independent 42 seats out of 48 seats in maharashtra that performance it is very difficult for shivasena to for bharatiya janata party my apologies to repeat it and bharatiya janata party also knows it so this is the reason one why bharatiya janata party wants to have more and more alliance okay now mind you maharashtra is the second largest state as far as lok sabha is concerned second is karnataka you see in 2018 bharatiya janata party had 104 seats in the assembly 104 seats in the assembly there was a single largest party and bharatiya janata party out of the 28 total seats 125 seats plus one seat which joined them 26 seats nda and 25 seats alone bharatiya janata party things have changed in karnataka from 104 seats boom it came down to 66 seats popularity has dipped so obviously 25 seats that bharatiya janata party won in 2018 2019 is bound to go down no simple logic and bharatiya janata party also knows it now let's go to the third state which is madhya pradesh 28 out of 29 seats bharatiya janata party got in madhya pradesh things don't look so good in madhya pradesh for bharatiya janata party a lot of people say that possible the congress could come back to power in in uh, madhya pradesh if that happens then the chances are 28 out of 29 seats may not really happen for bharatiya janata party so even a 5 to 10 seats difference will have a lot of implication on bharatiya janata party so madhya pradesh affecting rajasthan is in the same boat last time they got 24 plus 1 in fact they got total 25 out of 25 seats went to 
Bharatiya Janata Party, RLP, that is one independent, they also were with Bharatiya Janata Party. So 25 out of 25 seats went to Bharatiya Janata Party. Things don't look the same today. The fifth state is Bihar. Bihar, without Nitish Kumar now, also looks tough for BJP. So the point is, the fact that I am trying to make is, out of all this, what I am trying to make is, the number of seats that they got last time was almost 100 out of 100, like, you know, 42 out of 48, 25 out of 28, 28 out of 29, 24 out of 25 Rajasthan, 18 out of 42 West Bengal, they got fabulous numbers that may not happen now and every time that edges off what they lose out is that magic number of 303 that magic number of 303 or if you are looking at NDA that magic number of 353 that's what's going to be edged out and if that magic number falls to be very difficult for Bharatiya Janata Party to function the way it functions currently, to lead the country the way it leads currently, to, to, to execute the policies that it is executing currently, it may be very difficult. It may be quite difficult. This is the reason why Bharatiya Janata Party is looking at numbers and more and more allies at this point of time. Because it's important for Bharatiya Janata Party to repeat its performance, what it did in 2019. Without allies, and without uh, support on ground, I think as on now, it looks pretty difficult. That's the point I wanted to make today. Till I see you next time, that is tomorrow at 10. Namaskar.